anybody that remembers this job from oh man a year and a half or so ago took out these blackberries rodent infestation was taken over and people doubted that the chips would hold up well looky here the chips are holding up uh, hopefully she sprays roundup on it but very little is growing through but we're back today to remove a couple trees they're easy fall trees but this is one of those situations where the client knows how to do tree work more than we do so it's gonna take us longer but we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna listen to her humor her same thing and uh, take it down in pieces also have this little mountain of slash and logs to chip up pine logs are just they don't have any kind of value right now so whatever we can chip we're gonna chip it and hopefully just run the chainsaw on some of the bigger butt cuts thin them down run it all through the chipper because we make more money grinding it up and there is a bunch of pine available everywhere so between all the fires and just people preparing for fires there's tons of logs tons of pine Looks like he hauled his lift home so we don't have that here anymore but had the track lift here but this is our track chipper 18 inch bandit uh it's around 170 horsepower cat powered it's got pipe turbos What a shame. All that wood is completely taken care of. Don't have to worry about it ever again. Now you just gotta take that tree down there in pieces, but let's look at this pile of chips. Just the pile of chips that come out of the feed wheel on the bottom. Decent size. I mean. Fill up your Civic. This chips out here are three feet thick now. Third time we've been in here spraying this stuff. This shipper rocks and rolls. It doesn't like, it's got the auto feed so that it'll suck it in. If it, the RPM drops too much, it'll shut it off and it'll back it out just a touch. But by the time it wants to throw it back in there, it'll wait till like peak RPM is touched just for a, like a split second and try to run it in there. But it hasn't quite given it time to get everything back up to speed. And so that's what happened with that last little piece. It kind of sucked it through, but you take, you lift it up, lift the feed wheel up, and then you got a dead man lever. Stick it through there, it can't go nowhere. It's locked in. So I pulled it out of there, and yeah, now this thing is definitely game changer. Before we had to mulch it with knives or something like that, that took us maybe 30 minutes. That would have been several hours with a mulcher. Yeah, way more efficient, way more onto the tree that we could just fall but the lady insists that we take it down in pieces yeah um, thankfully she's laid up on the couch and we don't see her 
50 times like we did the last time we were on this job, but you see this little tree right behind there? You see it? I'll point at it here in a second, right there. If we cut that one down, which we're gonna anyway, we could just fall this tree and it would be no problem. Climber wouldn't even have to show up, but you know, client knows best, I suppose. I seen John Wayne do it a little bit quicker. Come on. You seen that movie? <laughs> um, what's that? First encounter. Ten feet. You just touch this thing with your hand and it'll stick to it. Um I contacted him. One wrap is too much. I can't see it from this side, but I seen you slacked off. The Hans device. Yeah. I, I, could, I could pull it as you're cutting. Yeah, and see, and if you crank the slack out, that, that's what helps. That's what I'm saying. If you stand directly in line with the grass, it's not. Definitely pulled the first two, but real quick, you gotta make Nothing against this, but I like to be RCI. Hold up. Hang on. Now watch it so you can set it down right on this. Read the directions a little bit, and it pulled the plastic thing off the end, and the thing came apart. <laughs> Now here's a simple ish removal of the tree that would have been in the way just to fall the first one that we took down in pieces but you know we'll grab out the excavator and just pull it out and hold. Thank you. 
side, maybe it's not good. Just in there. Just keep on backing up. Get away from the house before it comes over. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm thankful for the work, thankful for the job and all that stuff, but sometimes there's the right way to do it and the wrong way, and man, this way was just the, I mean, we got it done just the same, but it is a long way around of doing the same job, taking out in pieces, a lot more liability, I would say, rather than just being able to fall this tree. It would have been an easy fall, it would have fell right out there in the parking lot where you just saw me working it. I don't know. Comment below what you guys' thoughts are on this. If a client really insists on doing a job a certain way, um, you know, do you go for it or do you just go with your instincts and, I mean, do the way you do it because she just didn't want these bushes right here hurt. And I think we actually bumped them more than we would have if we just fallen the tree. But we'll get these things out of here chipped up and uh, hopefully I won't be coming back.
Well, that's a simple way to do that. Chipped up the whole tree, everything. Done deal. No worries. Could have fallen both those trees, but the gal didn't want us to do that because it would hurt stuff that wouldn't get hurt. But anyway, we're out of here. Went ahead and tracked both machines out of here so I don't have to come down in here with the old gooseneck and turn it around. That spot's a little... It's okay, but it's, it's better that they're both up top as... Just go up there, that road does a nice loop. So I can just come through, load up, make the rounds. So that's job done. Uh, she only came out the one time today. That was nice. That easy job plus challenging client equals kind of a pain in the butt job. But it's still a job, whatever, we got it done. <laughs>